Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to the 17th video for our Tkinter Python programming massive program tutorial. <laughs> I love how I call it something different every time. Um, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the adding middle indicator function. So we've done the top and the bottom. I'll just say again, this isn't the best way to do it. A lot of these, these two functions are identical to each other. And we're about to add another pretty sloppy function. Um, I do intend to clean these up, but we're going to do that in time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add this middle indicator function and just uh, acknowledge that I realize it is not the cleanest, but that's okay. So copy, paste, and instead of top indicator, we're going to call this uh, middle indicator. And instead of globaling top indicator, we're going to global middle indicator. Also, if you didn't catch what I just did, I wasn't really explaining it, but the beginning of this indicator function is almost, is, pretty, is identical to the other ones. So I just copied this. Like, I just copied that part of add top indicator and pasted it there. So, um, so that's good enough there. Now we're going to go ahead and... Um, come down and so if data pace is tick then we just we're not going to do it um, but otherwise we're going to get started so now we're going to say uh, if what does not equal none then we're going to actually perform some stuff here um, the next question is if middle uh, middle indicator equals none so First question is if if the choice was not none. The second question is is the middle in indicator currently none? Um, so if whoops, hello. So if that's the case, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask now if um, yeah if what equals SMA. So if the user said, hey, I want to do a simple moving average, uh, what do we want to do? And so here we're gonna do. Um, mid IQ uh, and that's going to be equal to TK dot TK as usual so we're going to have this like basically window pop up like we did um, pretty much right here so in fact we could really copy and paste but I guess we'll, we'll write through it just because um, some people might not have followed how that exactly is working so we'll write it one more time so mid IQ equals TK dot TK um, then we are going to set that little window title. So this is like a, you know, its own little window. Submit IQ, whoops, dot WM title, uh, will be periods as before. Uh, the next thing we're going to do label equals, uh, TTK dot TTK dot label capital L, uh, to mid IQ text equals, uh, how, choose how many periods you want your SMA to be period easy enough now label dot pack as usual we're gonna pack this to the side equals top and then fill to X and patty 10 now e equals TTK dot entry uh, that's going to go to the mid IQ that we're making right now. E dot insert, and this is again where we make basically a default value. We're going to choose uh, 10 for the default value. E dot pack, and then E dot focus underscore set. And now we're going to define callback, and the callback is going to basically do exactly what the other callback did um, to the for the most part. It's going to global middle indicators. It's going to global dat counter. And then we're going to do middle indicators equals an empty list. And that is why we are doing if middle indicator equals none. Because at this point, we're saying middle indicators is an empty list at this point. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then we're going to say periods. Uh, equals e dot get group is nothing at the moment group dot append um, they chose SMA so we'll append SMA and then group dot append and here we're going to append the int value of periods 
Uh, we didn't do that below, and we'll see if we get away with that. I believe I pulled that from the main application, so I think we do, but we shouldn't. Anyway, group.append int periods, and then we'll do middle indicators.append the group, and now we'll say dat counter, counter equals 9,000, and then print uh, middle indicator set two, comma, middle indicators, and then mid IQ dot destroy. Okay, so basically this is all of the code that we just uh, put out. And so what's happening, make the window, how many periods basically, we enter a default, that in a second will run the callback uh, when that's done, it sets the middle indicator to SMA in the value, and then it destroys the window. Subsequently, um, we need to add the button. So we're going to say B equals TTK dot button dot, uh, and then mid IQ. So mid indicator question, if you're confused about IQ. Uh, we're going to say text equals submit and width equals 10 and command equals callback. And now basically all of this remains the same if the user picks EMA for exponential moving average. So we're going to copy all of that and we're going to come down here, paste, and instead of SMA, EMA and your EMA, whoops, capitalize that. Coming on down, blah, 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 blah. Middle indicators, no problem. Group.append EMA. Easy, 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 easy. Boom, done. So that's it. Now uh, we need to ask the question basically, we need to come back and if what if there's already a middle indicator so chances are a lot of times when people add simple moving averages they generally add two at least but generally two and they look for crossovers of those two simple moving averages or exponential moving averages whatever um, so now we need to answer the question l if there is something in that middle indicator um, or else really it's the only other thing so that was if since we're we're kind of like that was a long bit of text so we're going to go ahead and measure um, that would be two tabs, I believe, over. So tab, tab, okay. So we'll come down here, tab, tab, else. So in this scenario, um, basically we're asking if, if there is already indicators there, else, if what equals um, SMA, um, Basically, uh, we're gonna come. Let's let's go ahead and copy and paste this entire thing here. And the only thing that really changes is we just don't define middle indicators as an empty list. Okay, so we. Sh I I'm pretty sure that's the only thing. We're gonna go ahead and just copy and paste this. And this is what I meant. Like this is really messy, not ideal. But so if what equals SMA, delete the second version. Then we still ask the question, all of that, we're gonna do everything there. And the only thing we're gonna leave out basically is uh, defining middle indicators as an empty list. So um, first of all, probably the best thing to do actually would have been to not use text none for middle indicators and then we always append to middle indicators. So that'll probably be how we're gonna clean up this function but this is how I have the code right now so we'll just do that. Um, and then basically we do the exact same thing for EMA. So we'll just copy, paste. So that was this here. So EMA, capital E, whoops, capital E there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. EMA, middle indicator set to that. And that's it. Okay. So we've got all that, and now we just need one final statement here. That's basically um, one tab over, else, middle indicators equals none. 
theory, we should probably make empty list. We'll probably do that to optimize this because this is really messy. Um, but else basically means they have none. Okay, so with all that code, we should be all set. Uh, let's run and see how many syntax errors we have. No syntax errors? Wow, what a surprise. Okay, middle indicator, SMA, boom error. Uh, knew we couldn't get away from it. All right, so what do we got? Uh, wow, this was not what I wanted to see. Let's see, return. Um, well, I'm definitely not um, immediately seeing what my problem is. It's obviously something in, in this change middle indicator uh, function, which is strange that it's like referencing all. I've never seen something like reference back um, that far. Usually the trace back doesn't go that far back, and so that's what's really confusing me. So somewhere along these lines we have what appears to be maybe a parent issue, but because um, it's happening basically at this point, and maybe it's not really sure who the parent is here, tk.tk. I think I might see my issue, hold on. Uh, right, okay, so, right. So we're saying, that's a lot of edits that we're gonna have to make. So actually I think I found out the issue here. So we're doing tk.tk, but that's actually, we need to you know fully uh, put the parameters there, because otherwise it's referencing basically an object. So that's probably what was pissing it off the most. So let's go ahead and see if we can't add these parameters to all the places there that we did that. That's what happens when you copy and paste. And that's why we need to simplify these functions because these sorts of things, when we make changes, are problematic. All right, let's try one more time. <laughs> we don't have a button. <laughs> Wow, what a mess. Okay, but but despite not having a button, uh, at least we didn't get that error. We're just getting this whole you know syntax warning about dat counter, but that's okay. Um, right. Okay. So so we made the buttons, uh, but we need there's a there's a few more things that we have to do here. Um, clearly, I need to uh, probably stop doing tutorials for the day because I'm not thinking straight. Uh, we need to do first of all b dot pack, and then we need to do tk dot main loop here. And we need to add that to the other three, I believe, uh, spots. So here we go again. And then scroll up again where we've got the button, paste, scroll up again, paste. Okay, let's try that now. See what happens. Main, middle, SMA, 10, cool, submit, awesome, blossom. Middle indicator set to SMA, 10. And then what we can do though is we can go middle indicator EMA 10. And then you'll see that, uh, let's see, set to EMA 10. Let's go back down here. If, so it looks like it cleared it again. If what? does not equal none. If middle indicator is currently none, it will do this. Else, if the what is SMA, it will add there. And then EMA, I'm a little concerned about why it appears to have cleared uh, middle indicators. All right, uh, so I found out the error as usual. It's almost always a typo. Um, so what was happening is our our actual um, variable name here is middle indicator, um, but middle indicator is actually probably better emphasized as middle indicators because we actually are under the impression that we're going to have multiple of them. Um, so that that's where I kind of went wrong logically in my head. And so what ended up happening was we've got middle indicator, and then later on we're doing middle indicator z like plural. Um, and this isn't a syntax error or any error really. You're just globaling, you know, some function or some variable name. That's totally fine. Um, but that's what ends up uh, throwing us out is we've got middle indicators, and we're setting it as middle indicators 
that's the problem. So really quickly, um, just find anywhere where we have middle indicators with multiple, you know, a plural. Copy that, control H, middle indicators, over here, middle indicator, replace all. Now let's go ahead and run that. And same dat counter, but that's fine. Agree. And now we'll go main middle indicator, SMA, we'll pick 10. We'll see it pop it down here um, that it accepted it. And then we'll, let's, let's add an EMA of 10. Cool. And now we see it get, now it's added that another indicator to that list. Now it's operating as intended. So anyway, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, sorry about all of the errors, but that's part of making a program. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.